Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Kempers. I am a freelance website designer and developer and also a writer. And I'm currently participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, uh, which is what this vlog is going to be focused around. It is July 11th, it's currently 9 a.m. My previous vlog just went up. Um, I'm also in the middle of editing one of my like mini kind of short form vlogs that I've been adding onto my YouTube shorts as well as my Instagram reels and TikTok. I'm trying to like do little updates over there as well. I have a work meeting in half an hour, um, just like a daily check-in kind of meeting. So I'm actually gonna jump right into writing sprints uh, right now so that I can do like literally just a 20 minute writing sprint and then jump into my work meeting. I also think after my work meeting, depending on when I'm getting my work done, um, I haven't actually decided yet today, I am going to put all of my scene cards or like sticky notes or whatever up on the wall. I think I just need to like see them laid out in front of me. I also feel like I'm doing this thing. Please, if anyone else does this, let me know how you kind of get around it. I'm someone who has endless ideas. If I get something like writer's block, I get it because I have too many ideas and I have a really hard time deciding which one is going to be the most valuable for the story and which one is going to be the highest priority because there are just so many things that I could do with the story. And honestly, that's kind of where I'm stuck right now. I've mentioned it before. I have previous scenes that I know I'm gonna be transferring over from earlier drafts, which is great but also I'm still kind of working out how to actually fit them in as best as possible because I've added these new ideas. And I don't know, I'm really, I'm really struggling with it to be totally honest. Sometimes I float back to like, maybe I should just keep writing it like I wrote the first draft. Like maybe I should just be editing the very first draft I ever made because I really liked that draft. I think it's just kind of frustrating because like I spent time making an outline for draft three and putting the energy into figuring out how to make draft three as, as good as it could be and how to make it align with the way that I want to tell the story now. And sometimes it's kind of frustrating that my brain still floats back to like, actually, maybe the first draft, that original draft and that original plot is the way I want it to be. So this is a current struggle for me. I'm gonna jump into a writing sprint and kind of just see what I can get out. I honestly might just, I think I'm gonna do some more outlining and some more plotting and kind of just do a very loose like, free write in order to try and get past my struggles and try and like figure out what the best course of action is for the changes in draft three. I don't know. I know that I'm explaining it very abstractly and I apologize for that. It's just because obviously I don't want to share too much um, since I will be publishing it and also it's changed so much that I don't even know what to explain anymore. I don't even remember what I have explained. So also look, I did this yesterday. You will have seen in the previous vlog. I think this looks great. This makes me much happier, I think, because before it was just like a plain yellowish wall and it just felt too empty. I like the way it looks now. It feels nice and cozy. So I'm gonna finish editing this TikTok, get it up, and then I'm going to jump into whatever amount of time I have to do a writing sprint. It'll probably be 20 minutes max. It might be 15. little update before I pop on to my meeting. I just wrote about 300 words. I make these documents. I have made them for multiple books now, multiple projects, and I'm someone who has a very busy mind most of the time. So I make these documents that I call um, figuring shit out documents, and they are basically just a j dumping ground for me to pour all of my thoughts into. Sometimes I do this um, writing just like handwriting. Uh, I like to do it that way to kind of work through my thoughts, but sometimes things are just too fast and I cannot write fast enough with my hands to actually get it all out. So instead, I jump over to one of my figuring shit out documents. And so far it's doing really well. Um, it's really helping. I'll explain kind of what I'm doing. So what I do is I kind of like 
it's it's just free flowing thoughts for like the the entire document is just my thoughts coming out as they would in my brain but I want to keep them down so I don't forget anything so like I literally start this document off by saying okay so currently I'm stuck on what I even want to be happening now that it's starting from a different point my inciting incident no longer plays the same role that it did so I think the whole Amlux plot line can actually just be left behind that's just like stream of consciousness so then I basically will start typing out a point by point or paragraph by paragraph summary of what I have so far. And then when a question pops up, for example, why does this crew that comes and uh, is part of the new inciting incident, why do they need my main character specifically? Like why have they come for her? basically, because that's important. Um, and then the second one, what is their mission specifically? And from that, I actually have like sub points for every level of what of answers that I need for that particular plot point. So for example, what is the mission of these pirates who have come for her? Well, the captain has been losing the magic that he needs to maintain his immortality um, because of the instability of magic across the realms that's going on. Uh, so because of that and a couple other things that have happened, his mission now is to remain immortal and he needs to actually like have a power source to be able to do that. So that's, this connects with why they've come for her specifically. And already this is wildly helpful. Like I'm just working through it and figuring out what answers I don't have, like what I'm missing and what I need to do in order to figure out the story. <laughs> So I've written approximately 1200 words into this kind of like figuring the shit out document, um, which I am tracking towards my Camp NaNoWriMo goal. I feel like this is one of my favorite things about camp versus actual NaNoWriMo is that having like big word count goals is already stressful. So if there's like no leniency, it just makes it almost too much pressure for me, which is why camp is so nice because it's lenient in the way that you can get those words. Like you can do it over multiple projects. You can do it in the planning stages if you want. You can do it in editing. So it just feels like such a nice way to get back into writing um, in a way that's not putting too much pressure on myself. So I wrote 1200 words into that document and it's actually working wonderfully. I have so far posed like six major questions to myself that really need to be answered in order to understand what I'm actually doing with this draft. I kind of explained it, but I'll basically be like writing out the summary of the book and the plot points as it happens. And then if I write something like, and then the main character and these people do this, and then I have a question for myself, like, well, wait, why do they do that? Is there a plot or is there like a subplot set up for this already? Is this what they would actually do? Um, just basically trying to catch any unanswered questions or plot holes that I might have in there since this draft is an amalgamation of multiple other drafts and it's honestly working really well. Feeling good about that. I just had lunch. I think I'm gonna go in the backyard and do a bit of slacklining just to like do a bit of movement before sitting back down at my computer but then I'm gonna do however many more sprints it takes to hit 2,000 words today. That's my goal. I'm trying to hit like the camp goal that's on their website right now and then after that I do need to get into some more development work. So that's where we're at.
it's friday the last time i updated you i actually had a really great word count day um and that was on tuesday so i have not written since i have done more work on the plot and i've also um spoken to my critique partner about it a lot um but i have yet to actually add some more words that's okay i am slowly accepting the fact and getting comfortable with the fact and even like relishing in the fact that rest and these days that are like thinking about your story also count as writing. That's something that I try to remind myself of um, because they do count as work towards your story. Like if you're thinking about the plot and you're thinking about the story, you are actually putting the energy into figuring it out. Just because you're not getting physical words doesn't mean that you're not making progress. So it's Friday morning. I have already been working on development stuff for like two hours, maybe three. Um, I've been up for a long time already and it's only like 8.30. I also have a lot to do today because I am gone for the weekend. I am going off to like interior BC to go and visit a friend. Um, we'll be camping and we'll be doing lots of highlining or slacklining and maybe climbing and stuff. Um, so I have a long day and I have a lot of stuff to try and catch up on. If I'm being totally honest, I feel like my mental health has still been not ideal. <laughs> and like, there are certain reasons for it that I'm working through and dealing with and that I'm hoping will be dealt with within the next couple weeks. Like I'm really banking on things clearing up in August, honestly. But until then, we're just doing the best we can. I'm also just sitting here holding this. This is a face mask that I bought earlier this week that I'm finally going to use because I feel like I deserve it. I'm stressed today. I'm gonna pop this on and do a nice little face mask. I'm probably gonna make myself a second cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm sure there will probably be quite a few cups of coffee today, which is not great for the anxiety, but I think I might also have some CBD oil, which I take sometimes for like anxiety and just like kind of relaxation. Oh, that's cold. Oh my God, and it was so terrifying. <laughs> I look like a ghost. Okay, well. Nice, perfect, look at that. Um, I don't know, I should have waited uh, uh, to put this on until I was done talking. But yeah, um, I do have like work meetings in an hour or so. So my plan is to, I might squeeze in like a 20 minute writing sprint, but then I'm kind of just gonna be prepping for those work meetings. Cause work this week has also been a lot. I've run into just like a lot of um, bugs, which when it comes to development, bugs can be like super complex, but they can also be super simple. Like literally something was spelled incorrectly or something was like missing a hyphen. Uh, so I've been running into a lot of issues like that, which are frustrating. And then also a lot of issues that are like more complex, which is also frustrating because the thing that I'm working on was supposed to be done on like Tuesday. And I really thought I would get it done on Tuesday. And now I've spent like, an extra friggin' 10 hours on it that I didn't expect to. So that's fun. Anyways, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do some laundry. We're gonna do the best we can, which is, that's that's all you can do. Just do your best. Sometimes if you're not feeling 100%, then your best isn't gonna be 100%. But today, as long as I hit 25%, I'm gonna be happy with that. <laughs> So I've spent pretty much the whole morning working. Um, it is now 2 p.m. I am done my work, um, which is great, or at least I'm done work for that client. This is the big client. It's 2.10, so I'm gonna do two 20 minute writing sprints. Um, and I'm gonna try and knock out my words for NaNoWriMo today. I am in fact behind again, because that's what happens when 
uh, you don't write for multiple days. So the goal of the day is 2,275 words. That's how many I need to do in order to kind of like catch up. But I want to do that just because I want to hit the goal um, as soon as possible because probably around four I'm going to be leaving. I have all my camping stuff pretty much packed up and ready to go. I'm charging my drone so that we can get some cool shots while we're out there. And everything is pretty much ready to go. Um, so I kind of just want to like get the last bits of computer work done so that I don't have to worry about them anymore. And the next priority for that is the words for Camp NaNoWriMo. Hoping you can see me okay. You're kind of like propped up on a pillow right now. So I just hit 1565 words. This whole, I'm telling you, if you are someone who just has like a brain that goes a mile a minute, you have a lot of thoughts, you have a lot of ideas to sort through, I highly recommend trying the whole like figuring shit out document strategy. Um, it's basically the same as like free writing in a journal or like brain dumping, which I've talked about many, many times is a big strategy of mine because of how like <laughs> scattered my brain is. So I, I do brain dumps very often and the figuring shit out document is just another version of a brain dump. But it has been super helpful to be working through um, this document. It's clearing up a lot of things. Like I'm now at like 12 questions or so that I've asked myself and each one of them has sub notes and sub questions so that I'm really figuring things out and actually understanding motivations of characters, why they're doing what they did, making sure that everything character-wise makes sense, and also making sure that the ways they interact with each other is actually lending to the arc that each of them needs to follow throughout the story. So I'm gonna stop here because it's 2.57 um, and I might be leaving earlier than anticipated, as early as 3.30, so that's half an hour from now, and I actually need to finish editing this vlog and get it up for tomorrow morning. I luckily already started editing it, so hopefully I just have to like put these clips in, add a couple of captions and whatnot, and then get it uploaded for tomorrow. Oh, we've also hit 10,000 words so far for Camp NaNoWriMo, which is wonderful. So I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Um, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever that you would like me to answer in the camp vlogs. I hope that you've been enjoying them so far. Don't forget to smile, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.